I am Joey. And I'm Rory. And uh, we are so proud of the turnout tonight. Give you all selves a big round of applause for being here. We'll get the band set up if we could. Um, we've still got quite a few more people coming in. And um, this whole project, this whole idea was kind of an ambitious one. And um, we, we thought we might have, could have done it in a smaller place, but we, we thought this was the right place because we needed to honor Tim. And uh, Tim never got to play at the Ryman Auditorium, and he sure deserved the opportunity to be here. So um, tonight is his night. Can you get the band out here, please? I don't think Daryl's playing with the band. Okay, gotcha. No, no, it's okay. Gotcha. That's your turn. Before we do anything, if you don't mind, I want to take a moment of silence and say a prayer for this evening because uh, it feels like the right thing to do. Father, we just thank you for the night. We thank you for this beautiful day you've given us. We thank you for all these people who have gathered together to uh, play music, not their music, but our friend Tim Johnson's music. We thank you for the chance that each person in Nashville gets when they write a song, when they sing a song. Not only can it potentially change their life, their family's life, but it goes on and touch lives all over the world where people hear the music. We uh, give you the honor and the glory for this evening. May we have a great time. Honor you and honor Tim Johnson. Amen. <clears throat> So uh, we're going to have a bunch of songs tonight. The idea is, is this is the world's largest pitch session. So we've invited a lot of industry people to come, people who are record producers, record label people, um, A&R folks, publishers, managers, artists, everybody to be out here tonight to listen to these songs. Tim had a bunch of hits that uh, have been recorded, but he also left a number of songs that haven't been recorded. We'll talk more about that. We'll talk more about Tim as we're going. Um, and we're going to MC this evening, but we're going to start off first with a wonderful song, really started Tim's career, uh, and it also started the career of this artist. This is Daryl Singletary. Let me add my welcome to everyone. We do have a wonderful crowd out here tonight. In 1993, uh, I was playing in a little old bar over here on Interstate 65 right off of Trinity Lane called The Broken Spoke. And uh, yeah, and a gentleman walked in one night. Uh, we were on a break. A guy named David Lowe came up to me and he said, uh, there's a new publishing company in town, Giant Publishing, and they're looking for a traditional country demo singer. Would you be interested? And at the time, I was eating romaine noodles. <laughs> and I said, you bet I would. So I uh, had the privilege of, of meeting Tim. And uh, Jimmy and I were on the demo session. This was the first song that I ever demoed for Tim. Did, did quite a few after this, fortunately. But I uh, have, have cut quite a few songs. This one right here was very special. And uh, we hope y'all remember. She'd come home 6 a.m. Tell me she'd been out with friends. And I let her lie. Good 
not change And I only have myself to blame If I let her lie I let her lie Cause the truth was too hard to handle Daryl Singletary. You know, uh, the first time I saw Tim Johnson at a songwriter's night, that was the first song he always opened the night with. And so anytime I hear that, I always think of the very first time I heard him perform. And every night thereafter, his songwriter's nights, he would open with that song. What a precious, precious moment. Daryl's going to come back in a little bit, and he's going to do a new song uh, that Tim's written for everybody to hear. Uh, in the meantime, we brought the band out here. Some folks are going to sing with a band. Some are going to sing acoustically. And uh, we've got a couple of great songwriters with a Tim Johnson song. Uh, this is Clay Mills and James Dean Hicks. I know Tim's up there somewhere right now making sure that I forget most of the lyrics to this song. <laughs> The one red light at the end of your town All the fear of change that's holding you down Have you convinced yourself it's too late now What's stopping you? Is it that rut you're in that's keeping you
cards that I've been doing Isn't really up to anyone else I ask myself Wonderful song. All these songs are songs that uh, Megan Johnson, which is Tim's wife, she went through. She, we all had, me and uh, Megan and Joe West, we all got Tim's full catalog, which is probably a thousand songs or more than that. And uh, she went through them all, and uh, she chose the songs to play tonight. She chose the songs that are on the CD. When you all leave this evening, we're going to pass out a CD for everyone that has 15 of Tim's best songs, some of his best songs anyway on there. It's hard to choose them. But uh, this is one of my personal favorites. I remember when Tim first played this song for me, and it just, it just took my breath away. And uh, I'm excited. Rob Crosby is going to sing it tonight. Rob. Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. The other night, me and my beer couldn't help but overhear a man and a woman at the bar. She told him they were through, and there was nothing he could do. I could tell he really took it hard. His hands began to shake. He said, baby, please don't leave. We both watched her walk away Man, it was killing me And it wasn't even My goodbye Still I wanted To break down and cry Cause anytime you see love Cannot rise above It's enough to bring a tear To your eyes and it wasn't even my goodbye. Later on when I got home, I turned the TV on and saw a soldier just back from the war. His wife and kids and friends were there. Rifles fired in the air And overhead jet engines roared They handed her a folded flag As the rain was falling down And I wept like a child When I heard that beautiful sound And it wasn't even my goodbye To break down and cry Cause any time you see love Trying to rise above It's enough to bring a tear to your eye And it wasn't even my goodbye Someone else's pain cuts deep, cuts deep into your soul. And you remember what it's like to have to let somebody go.
Thank you. What a great job, what a great voice. For, for a little while, Rory and Tim, they were business partners. They had a little publishing company together. And they had a, um, probably five or four or five different songwriters that they had on the publishing team. And this next lady that's about to sing for y'all is a wonderful singer, a wonderful songwriter, a wonderful woman. Y'all, please make welcome Miss Helen. Helen Darling. Helen I wear your diamond and raise the children. Together we've got everything we need. I make you breakfast. You're home by seven.
We're going to have a speaker come up and say something to you real quick as uh, this next songwriter is getting ready. Bart Herberson, come on up here. What an incredible night. I'm Bart Herbison. I'm director of the Nashville Songwriters Association. Well, any applause I get is for the songwriters that are part of this great group. And Tim was a board member. Tim went to Washington and fought that songwriter's fight with us. And more importantly, Tim helped any songwriter he met who had a dream try to find that dream. Um, Tim was a great songwriter, a great board member, a great father, and a great husband. And Megan and Jack and Kai are here tonight. That's one good looking family over here, I'm telling you. Uh, Alan Jackson couldn't be here tonight, Megan, but late today asked me to send his regards and say he wished he could be here for part of this wonderful evening. Now, let's remember industry friends. The greatest way we can remember Tim and honor him is these incredible songs. Give it up, are you kidding me? <laughs> so Megan, I had a Tim moment today. When Tim went to Washington, the only time I've ever seen a songwriter in a suit is when we go to Capitol Hill. <laughs> and I got Tim in one, and I actually got him to wear a tie till about 10 o'clock. And I looked over there and the tie was off. Now, Tim was always on me, not only in Washington. Bart, you're too formal, you're too serious, ease up. It ain't, it ain't all, there's fun moments. So about two hours ago, I'm getting ready to come down here, and I thought, it's the rhyme, and we're honoring Tim. I'm, I'm putting on a suit. I literally heard Tim laugh and go, really? Really? I compromised, but Tim, that's for you, boyfriend. Look at this incredible crowd. We are all here for Tim Johnson and to honor thy song. So give yourselves a hand. Next up with another great Tim Johnson song, our friend Mark Beeson. Hey. Bart kind of said it, but thank you so much for this turnout. We didn't know whether we were going to get 10 people or 1,000, and it's great to see so many people show up to support our buddy Tim, one of the best writers and people that we've ever known. Um, Meg, thanks for asking me to do this song. I appreciate it. I'm honored to be part of this night. I know it didn't end too well. In fact, it hurt like hell. I was so angry then. Never wanted to see you again. I heard just the other day. You asked if I was okay. If I still curse your name. Gave you.
Wonderful. Wonderful. Mark Beeson, aren't these wonderful song, songs, y'all? You know, I met Tim, uh, I moved to Nashville in 1995, and I met him at a songwriter's night at the Boardwalk Cafe. I was playing with some other songwriters, and Tim was playing right after uh, I played, and, and I knew I wanted to be friends with him. I didn't realize that uh, as time would go on, my first song that I ever got recorded was going to be a song that I wrote with Tim Johnson. My first uh, number one song was that same song. It was by uh, Colin Ray, called Someone Used to Know. Colin is here tonight. Where are you, Colin? Thank you for that. Tim was here uh, when I met my wife. Tim is the one who basically pointed at her and said, that's the one. And, uh, and he was right. And he's been here for just about every big important event in my life, in my musical career. And uh, him and I have got to write with a lot of people. Some of these folks I don't even know that well, but um, I know them because Tim has talked about them for so long in our community. And um, this is one of the ones that uh, Tim and I got to write a good bit with and always had a great time together. We're honored that he's here tonight. Y'all welcome Paul Overstreet. Thank you all. How you doing? Having fun? That guy was tall. <laughs> all right, I got my pages here. All right, I got my pages spread out because I don't really know this song that well. Because I know the song, but Tim sang it, and he's such a better singer than I was. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even. Didn't even plan on ever singing this song, and so now here I am. I was going to sing one of the humorous songs that we wrote, he and Rory and I. We, <laughs> we went down to the Cayman Islands, spent about three or four days, and we wrote some really funny songs, but they won't let me sing them for y'all tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody back here is applauding, because so, you're glad I'm not going to sing them right. All right, well, I'll, I'll do my best on this. You know. They'll show up on the day that you're born Smoke a cigar with your daddy They'll hold your hand and walk you to the store and Buy you ice cream and candy They'll doctor up your elbow When you fall off your back They'll chase away the goblins Underneath your bed at night If you need them to People love you They'll sit up in the stands And they'll applaud Your graduation Put a check or a green Back in a car In celebration If you wind up in trouble Find yourself in jail They'll get up in the middle of the night To post your bail You know why they do Cause people love you So don't think for a minute You walk this world alone Someone's got your back They'll miss you when you're gone They keep you in their prayers Cause they care about the struggles you go through They'll fill up up your side of the church the day you're married. They're there to tell you you can make it work when it all gets scary. They'll listen to your troubles. They'll spring for the beer. Tell you when you're dead wrong when you don't want to hear it. But you know it's true. People love you. No, don't think for a minute. You walk this world alone. Someone's got your back. They'll miss you when you're gone. They'll keep you in their prayers. Cause they care about the struggles you go through. Yeah, people love you. From the moment that 
that you brought into this world to the day they lay you down and all the things that happen in between the greatest I have found is people love you now don't think for a moment you walk this world alone someone's got your back and they'll miss you when you're gone they'll keep you in their prayers cause they care about the struggles you go through people love you people love you Ooh. people love you Thank y'all. Thank y'all. That's for you, Tim. All of the street, y'all. Remember, folks, this isn't your normal concert. It's really not just for fun, although it is great fun. One of the hopes is that maybe you know somebody who's going to be recording a song. Maybe you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who's going to be recording a song, recording an album. And we would love for you to consider these songs. Next up, we've got some good friends of Tim's. Um, they all wrote a lot of songs together also. This is Mike and Scott Harder and Cherie Austin. Thank you guys for coming tonight. And I had a quick story about Tim. Um, we actually wrote this on a retreat with him in Arizona a few years ago. And uh, yeah, uh, Tim is one of the funniest, uh, most talented, biggest smart asses I ever met in my life. And he uh, often loved to make fun of me because uh, I'm Australian. And the very last voice message, voicemail I ever got from Tim was him inquiring as to where he might possibly purchase some kangaroo meat for a barbecue he was having. <laughs> anyway, this song's called Another Time, Another Place. I walked in by myself and started drinking There was a woman in the corner with a smile That let me know what she was thinking Then she walked up to me and said Sir, could I please use your rider? But I think we both knew she was looking for a different kind of fire me and started preaching politics and religion guess he could tell by my look I wasn't much in the mood for conversation Ooh, and I don't know why but some guys like a fight with their burger oh any other night I'd have taken him outside for a learning another time another place watching that smirk up
another place It was half past twelve I walked in by myself And I started drinking Wonderful job. Next up, we've got a duet of sorts. Um, I met both of these guys, this guy and this gal from uh, Tim. They were good friends before we ever met, and uh, Tim loved and believed in both of them and actually produced projects on them. Tim, besides being a great songwriter, he also produced some great records and uh, believed in a lot of great artists, and, and this is two of them together. This is Don Gatlin and Hannah Weeks. Beautiful. You know what's great about tonight is there's so many artists and songwriters that are here performing Tim's songs that he has played numerous songwriters with, songwriter rounds with, and it's just a, a constant reminder from one to the next to the next what a difference Tim made in all of our lives, how he touched us with his music, how he touched us with his friendship. And um, that we will never, ever forget. And these songs, we are hoping, will live on forever. Because they will, and we hope to get these recorded one way or another. So y'all, our next songwriter is a dear, dear friend of Tim's. 
a friend of ours as well. Please make welcome James Dean Hicks. And Jamie Houston. James Dean Hicks and Jamie Houston. We've got a piano player coming out now. Um, some of y'all may know Angela. One of Tim's favorite things that he did, he didn't just love to write songs, uh, he loved to teach. It, most of the time when you were in a writing session with Tim, even if you were his peer and his equal, he always had things to teach you and things to share and things that he wanted to learn from you. And he did a lot of NSAI song camps and other things. And um, I know Angela's done that too with him. And uh, he's given back so many times. This isn't a song that Angela wrote. A lot of these songs tonight, we're all learning uh, for the event and for songwriters to learn someone else's songs and pitch them does not normally happen because we all want you to record our songs. <laughs> but that's part of what makes tonight so special. And uh, this is one of my favorite songs, Angela Cassett. Thank you. Tim wrote this song for his friend, Peggy Bradley. done 
for me I wish now I called or sent that card or letter to find out how you've been friend I knew better how could you know that you even crossed my mind I never dreamed that I was running out of time And I owe you an apology You just never know how short life can be So tonight if you are listening up there You'll hear the honesty and the sad to live my whole life with this regret this is one lesson that I never will forget no no Absolutely beautiful. Just stunning, stunning vocal. Come on out here, baby. Well, um, I can't tell you how many times I've ridden around in the truck listening to that song. That's on the 15 song CD that we all put together to bring home. Everyone can take home tonight. Um, if for some reason you feel like you need to leave before. Um, the uh, last song is over. Please grab a CD on your way out. We hope you can stay through because there's a, there's a few more songs that we want you to hear. Um, next up, we've got a singer who started the show, and uh, he wanted to do a new Tim Johnson song. He's just had to learn it uh, in between, uh, as he said, turkey season. It's been tough, but it's important. Daryl Singletary. As they say, pray for me. <laughs> okay. yeah. Just the other night I was rolling down the road. Heard a big bang and my front tire blowed. For a mile or so, I just left along on the rim. I finally wound up in a parking lot. My luck was good, it was a honky-tonk I could barely see a thing, the light was dim I opened up my trunk and there I found What my daddy said you should never travel without A tire iron, such a useful tool When you got a flat, it'll jack your jack in a minute or two Took the spare, put it on snug. If you got one, you gotta love a tire iron. I was covered in grease, thirsty for beer, thought maybe an angel 
Angel sent me here. Then I saw my best friend Jim in a corner booth. Girl, I love had her handle his knee. The two of them was a cheating on me. With tears in my eyes, I said, how could you root? I walked back outside, my poor heart was broke. Next to Jim's brand new truck, the devil spoke. glass on a dually board with just one swing. It can scrape the paint, it can dent the hood, it can pry off a bumper if it makes you feel good. When you got some revenge, you gotta love a tire iron. Pick a this band, y'all done. Singletary, tire iron. I'd wonder what he sounded like if he didn't sing a country song. <laughs> we want to have somebody come out and say a few words to you um, at Tim's funeral celebration in October. Um, she spoke, and um, she did such a wonderful job. Megan wanted to have her out here tonight. This is Debbie Matthews. Being a publisher in town, um, it's never more evident than when there a, gr a great writer writes a great song, you can hear its voice through the thread of the song when it's being performed, whether it's live or on the radio. And I bet everyone here that knew Tim can hear his voice in these songs tonight as if he's singing them or channeling them, can't we? You know, uh, my husband is a writer, Jason Matthews, and uh, he always makes the statement that when someone moves to Nashville, we stand on the shoulders of giants, giants that came before us, giants in the music business, producers, etc. And those giants that came before us set up the ability for this community tonight. I mean, look at this crowd that has come here to celebrate somebody's life. Those giants before us, they made sure the tapestry of Nashville was this, a family, a brotherhood of creatives that make sure that we take care of everyone. And there are giants that we stand on the shoulders of, whether it's Chad Atkins as the head of a label, or Billy Sherrill, or all those, or like the producer Mark Wright, who's here tonight, who was so instrumental in Tim's development as a writer, with Thank God for Believers and The Heartache Never Sleeps. Were those not wonderful songs? Just fantastic. And I want to say a special thanks to Mark for being here, because not only is he one of the giants in our industry, he also has the soul of a writer. Because at the end of the day, the greatest of these are writers. You know, I always tell my writers, it's as if God put you on earth without skin. So you can feel absolutely everything. Because in love service, only the wounded soldiers serve. 
And that's what writers are to do, to fill everything at such a magnitude that they have to write. And basically, they're writing to put words out there in the universe that others can't speak or sing. It all comes down to the writer and the song. Even when we lost the great George Jones the pa this past week, I can't tell you what they would have said about George Jones if they had not been talking about his songs that marked his career. So it is important tonight that we talk about one of these, of the greatest, and that is Tim Johnson. Because now writers come to town and have for the last few years that if they could just get in the room with Tim Johnson or another giant, they can become a part of this community. So what I'm asking tonight is all a and that are here, you used to be a publisher, all producers that are here, you used to be a writer. In fact, you might even have written with Tim. Think on those songs that you love. We always say plugging is timing, but uh, songs are timeless. Let me say that again. Plugging is timing, but songs are timeless. So over the next years, think on a Tim Johnson song and quietly, as if a benevolent tithe you're giving to Tim's family, Meg and her children, put a song out there. Put one for, for Tim. Put one for Tim. Once a month, mine those catalogs and let's get those songs out there. I would love to see Tim Johnson a Songwriter of the Year posthumously. Can you imagine that? We want Tim Writer of the Year. Thank you so much for being a part of this tonight. Thank you. Are you going to have a good cry? Or punch a hole in the wall? Are you going to drink the whiskey down Till you can't stand up at all Are you going to blame the woman Or admit you played a part What you going to do With that broken heart Are you going to find a stranger have a one night stand are you gonna look inside yourself be as honest as you can these choices that you're making they tell you who you are what you gonna do with that broken heart are you gonna dwell on the past or are you gonna get past the pain? Are you gonna hold on or let go? Let it drive you insane. Will you pick up the pieces or just leave them where they are? What you gonna do? forgiveness somewhere down the line and understand the reasons that she left you behind will you let somebody love you in spite of the scars of what you gonna do with that broken heart are you gonna dwell on the past or are you gonna get past the pain are you gonna hold on or let go let it drive you insane will you pick up the pieces or just leave them where they are what you gonna do with that broken heart What you gonna do with that broken heart? Tim Johnson's song.
This is, a, this is what's remarkable about, tonight, remarkable about tonight, is Tim's songs, Tim's not just a great songwriter and a good guy, and we're honoring him because he's such a good guy and we're missing him, although we are. His songs are that good. They're really special songs. Every one of them. And there are a lot of people here tonight that, um, that faces that I didn't expect to see. And uh, I'm, I'm personally honored. Megan, all these songwriters are honored that everyone has come out here and part of this. And we're going to do just a few more songs for you. Um, this is one of my favorites. I ride around listening to this. I said it um, in my office and listened to this song. I haven't heard Will do it like this, but I'm excited that you're here. Y'all, this is Will Robinson. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. Um, Tim, Tim and I go way back as writers and friends, and um, writing with him was never, ever dull. Um, but there was something special about writing with him after his diagnosis. It was, it was almost a way for him to sort of, you know, sink his nails into something and, and kind of get in a zone, and almost as if everything was normal while we were in, in, the, in the depths of writing a song. And as we were writing this song, um, I thought everything was, was, was in the normal. Uh, we were laughing, as always, and we were bickering. We used to like to, to bicker a lot, and we had a, a one female co-writer even say to us, uh, y'all are like an old married couple. Um, so we were, we, were, we were like that old married couple that day. We were writing this, and, and at one point, he looks at me with that, that warped Tim Johnson humor, and he goes, hey, Willie, don't tell me you're going to make me pull out the cancer card. And I, and I went, I went, okay, that's, that's it. So, of course, he got his way, and as he always did. But this is a song about service women, service men overseas. We hit the bunk like 20 other men. Out go the lights. I do my best to fall asleep. But sometimes I try to forget this is my new life, and I fill my head with memories. I remember walking down the gravel road to Grandma's house and fishing with my dad on the banks from rainbow trout. And I remember Mama's smile and all the things that I hold dear. I remember why I'm here. Today we went out on patrol. Not a shot was fired. Wish that it could always be like that. But the nature of this job is like walking a high wire. And you just pray, yeah, that you make it back. I remember Friday nights with my friends down on the square. The kids all lining up for cotton candy at the fair. And no Sunday morning church bells are like music to my ears. And I remember.
Yeah, every once in a while they'll catch up with you, won't they? Those songs of Tim's, they, uh, they come to life. Because Tim was so full of life. This next song um, actually never came to life <coughs> until uh, Tim had passed on. Um, some songs Tim started before he left. Some songs he's part of that will get finished after he's gone. I have probably a hundred songs Tim and I never finished. This is one that Tim is a part of, and um, it's a really special one. Um, Joe, why don't you take a minute and uh, introduce the band, since uh, Joe has done such a good job of making sure that all this production happened. This is Jamie Teachner and Joe West. Hey, y'all. Hey, guys. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here playing Tim Johnson songs. And how about this band, huh? You know, when we were planning this, um, these guys, th they insisted that they played. They played for free tonight. And um, we all know they're great players hearing them tonight, but uh, I think uh, it's really re revealing what kind of character they got to do something like that. Uh, over here, we have JT Cornfloss on guitar. <laughs> Mr. David Labriere on bass. My neighbor, Near Z, on the drums. Jimmy Nichols on keys. And Ilya Kaczynski on many instruments. Thank you, guys. We really, it's an honor to play with you guys up here. So uh, last October, me and my good buddy Jamie Teachner flew down to New Orleans to do some writing with our buddy Terry Hicks. And uh, we got there late, got off the plane, and immediately started writing until late in the morning, early in the morning. And we um, woke up the next morning to find out that our brother, Tim Johnson, had passed away. You know, and it seemed like this, seal, this, this song just fell right out of the ceiling. You know, and Tim was such a big presence that day that we put him on the song because we all felt like he probably wrote it a little more than we did. And, you know, it wouldn't be... Um, Tim Johnson song, or it would be just like a Tim Johnson song, Johnson song to be um, a song about his beautiful wife, Meg. You know, and it's interesting, too, how that how the life happens. We went down there to our friend Terry Hicks's house, and, and we met Terry because of Tim, and we wrote the song, and it was like we couldn't really write it down fast enough. It was just coming so quickly. And I told Meg, I said, I know that Tim wrote that song, and I just, I was positive of it. And he was on the copyright before we even finished the song. It was just, he was there. And Joe's one of my dear friends. Tim was one of my dear friends. I actually was telling Joe backstage, we, the first time I ever played the Ryman, if it hadn't been for Tim Johnson and, and Rory discovering a young fella named Blaine Larson, I would have never played it that time. And I would never played it this time if it wasn't for Tim Johnson. So... I think it's amazing too, Jack and Kai, that your daddy is the reason we're not playing to a bunch of empty chairs. So it's not any of us, it's just your daddy. You know, there were, there were some folks who told us to hold this at the Bluebird, but I think we're over the Bluebird fire code here. So uh, this song is called Nashville Now.
From the bluebird's pews to the opera We've got a two, two, you gonna make it, baby? Nope, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> um, this next song, um, we sort of threw in here at the end. Um, we wanted to put this song on the uh, CD of Tim's, but we made a rule that said Tim had to be singing it. And um, Joe West and some songwriters all got together and they recorded a bunch of demos of Tim's that never got finished. They were songs that were half done. Uh, well, he had written them, but he had not got to finish the demos of them. And so they all got together and had different songwriters come in and sing them. And so this is one of those songs. Um, Brett didn't write it, but Brett came in and sang on it, and the, the demo is spectacular. Um, one of our goals, we haven't been able to do it yet, mostly because with all the work that we've been doing, we're not web designers. And... Uh, if there are any web designers in the audience, we uh, our hope is to turn the honorthysong.com uh, website into, right now, a place filled with Tim Johnson's songs where you could come and hear hundreds or thousands of his songs. And then down the road, maybe that would go on. And maybe next year, we can do another event like this for other songwriters who've passed away so that we don't forget their songs. Would you all like that idea? I want to, right now on the Honor Thy Song uh, site, we did put a video up. Tim, uh, last July, um, we came to his house and we filmed him and we interviewed him talking about um, his story, how he came to Nashville, and then he sang one song. We wanted so much to have a video screen so that you could see that, but we couldn't work it out. Um, but if you go to that website, you can see it. It's pretty special. You'll learn more about Tim. Anyway, here with a song uh, that is fabulous. Brett Jones. Thank you. My father told me that a great man is judged by how many people miss him. And I would say by this gathering here that Tim Johnson was a great man. Thank you so much for coming out. This is a song that Tim played for me uh, shortly before he passed. I feel privileged to, to play it for y'all. Thank you so much. Daddy sure loved that Bible. He 
read it all the time And he could quote a scripture To keep us kids in line I can hear him from the front pew Saying, good Lord, what should I do? Daddy got drunk on Jesus And Mama got drunk on We have two more songs for you. Um, this one is going to be kind of fun. I think we're going to maybe join Britain at some point here. Um, I have no idea what this is about, but I heard the song, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, we got one more song we're going to all do here, and then uh, we're going to end the show, actually, in the night with Tim singing a song at the end. So here you go. This is Britain Cameron.
first time I saw your face I understood the meaning of amazing grace And now I realize that all my prayers were small I never had the faith that a man could have it all no. Is there any One more song for y'all before you go. I just want to remind you that all these songwriters that this community all pulled together for this event, that uh, there's a lot of songwriters that are lost every year. There are a lot of songs that are lost every year, and people will forget about them or not even know they exist. And uh, tonight is the hope that one of those songwriters, their songs will go on. Um, we want to thank some of our sponsors, if we could, NSAI, BMI, CSAC, Regions, um, New Life Digital uh, Media. They printed 3,000 CDs for free for us so we could give them to you. The Ryman Auditorium, 650 WSM. We have had so many people help. There have been some people who have, even though Megan has not really wanted it to happen, we, we, early on we had said, should we do a fundraiser or something? And Megan said, Tim would not want that. He just wouldn't. And so that's where this idea was born. How, what would Tim want? And he would want, uh, probably above everything, to know that his songs are not forgotten. And um, not only are they not forgotten, they are honored big time tonight. And um, so I want to remind you that after, when you leave, there's going to be some people at the desk out there or at the, at the doors that are going to hand you a CD. You can have more than one CD if you know people that want them or that would like one or you have friends. It doesn't matter. Take them with you. Um, we have some, a few hat show prints that we made, and um, I guess we're selling some of them to sort of offset a few costs. And... Um, I think maybe, uh, maybe Paul Overstreet's wife made some t-shirts up for one of the songs. Anyway, it's a thrill to have you all here. We're honored that you're here this evening. We want to leave you with Tim Johnson singing the song of songs for all songwriters. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Johnson. Well, I've been a waiter, a roofer, a clerk. I've shoveled manure until my pride hurt When you're starting out, it's all part of the work To do what I do And I've been evicted for not making rent Made my daddy wonder 
Where my good sense went For the price of a dream My years have been spent To do what I do Sit here tonight With a six-string guitar To be what I've always been in my heart Just for the chance To play you my song And the thrill when I hear you Singing along has been worth Everything I've been through To do what I do And I've played for empty Tables and chairs For drunks that don't listen And crowds that don't care Been told countless times Boy, you ain't going nowhere To do what I do So I hope the critics And the skeptics alike All bought a ticket To this show tonight They'll see firsthand I have survived you more alive and I'm one the fortunate few to do what I do well there's so much joy this music can bring so I count my blessings when I step up to sing cause there's so many people that would give anything to do what I do I thank all of you I can do what I do For Megan Johnson, for Jack Johnson, for Kai Johnson, for all the songwriters out there, thank you for being here tonight, for everyone here.